Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be only eating Easter themed food for 24 hours. First of all, I just want to say I'm sorry I look like a drowned rat. I've just had a shower and I am just basically in the middle of getting ready to film more videos, but I am starving and I literally cannot wait any longer so this is just a little fun food challenge that i thought i could do because i don't really do food challenges on my channel i picked up a good few foods from tesco's and we're going to basically do breakfast lunch dinner and snacks with these foods first thing i have is crumpets now you're probably thinking leah how is this easter theme but anytime i looked up easter themed foods crumpets were one i've never had a crumpet before don't know what they taste like and these go out a day tomorrow so i really need to eat these then the most popular one that came up was this these are tesco hot cross buns they are richly fruited with plump sultanas currants raisins and mixed peel now i don't usually like stuff like this i'm not like a really i'm not really a raisin cinnamon person i don't like scones with raisins in but for the sake of this video i'm going to give it a go and if i don't like them joseph can have them then for snacks, we have got Kit Kats, little bunnies. We've got this. Now, I didn't realize I ordered this when we did our food job, but apparently I did. And um, it's the Cadbury's mini eggs bar. Of course, Mr. Kipling always comes out with, you know, themed foods depending on the season. So this is the Mr. Kipling six lemon bakewells. I just thought these looked really, really good to have. And then it wouldn't be Easter without an easter egg i just got a small one because it's only me you know? so this is just the mini eggs one because mini eggs is my favorite chocolate egg so i'm very excited to dig into this but you're probably thinking Leo, where's the lunch where's the dinner there was no other foods that i could have picked from so we're basically gonna have one of these or like this for lunch and this for breakfast or vice versa now i'm really hungry and i want to like what i'm eating so i'm gonna pop on the crumpets first i don't know how many to have like they're quite thick i might just pop on two for now we're gonna have some of this i'll save these for lunch and whether i like them or not that's a whole other situation or maybe should i have one of each no because i need one for lunch no i'm gonna have the comforts first then for dinner we're gonna have to do a bit of a cheat and i'm basically gonna have to have eggs now i know eggs aren't eastery but easter eggs eggs egg hunts that's what i'm going with so we're gonna do eggs and dippers for dinner but i'm gonna be drinking water all day just to kind of keep it fair i don't have any drinks guys i'm not joking you the selection for easter foods last year was so much better than this year i don't know what's happened this year but yeah so i'm gonna pop two of these in the toaster and let's see what crumpets taste like because i've literally never had them okay so i have my crumpets here um i've toasted them as you can see and i've also put butter on them i'm not sure what else you're meant to put on them like could you put jam on them could you put nutella on them i don't know but i wanted to make it as fair as possible as to what they're meant to be like the back of it looks like a pancake but then the front has all these holes which kind of actually creeps me out a bit and I'm looking at it a bit more. But I feel like crumpets are such a British thing and not an Irish thing. Like no one that I know actually has crumpets. But we're going to give it a go. Oh, cheers. Hmm. This is exactly what I was expecting. Bit bland. But. It's good. It'll do the job. I'm going to go eat this. Give you a little time off some eating it and yeah enjoy <music> really is throwing me off though i can't lie all the little holes in the crumpets they threw me off quite a bit quite a bit but i feel like they'd be so much nicer with say like jam on top so when i'm eating the rest of them because obviously i'm not going to waste them or i'll add jam or something the only problem is is i'm still hungry so i feel like 
we're gonna have to do another snack because it is 20 to 11 and i feel like it's acceptable to have a lemon tart so that is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go grab them lemon tarts and we're gonna test them out because i'm hungry i want something sweet and i'm doing it for you guys so okay, well, we have moved up into the bedroom for this one because mom is sound serious and i'm still a bit awkward filming around people i brought up the mr kipling six lemon bakewells they look like they have like crystals on them and then like two layers so i'm excited to try these it says it's a light pastry case a layer of lemon flavored curd lemon flavored sponge on top with a soft lemon flavor icing but that is what they look like they look so good they smell so good. Oh my god, that is insane. It's like the perfect amount of pastry, the perfect amount of lemon. Oh my god, oh my god. These aren't gonna last. I'm sorry. These will be devoured in one day. Okay, you need these. If you like lemon, because the thing is, they're not super lemony. Like, they're not like, you know, that sour lemony that it's almost like, you're like kind of, it's not like that. They're just super, like, sweet. They're just like super sweet, super, they're, they are quite moorish though. So I'd say once you had two, you'd be done. But they, 10 out of 10. So good. So good. I've never tried Mr. Kipling of anything. I know they're, what are they called? Begins with B. The one that has like the four squares of the sponge. I know they're very popular. But this, highly recommend. Okay guys, it is now lunchtime. I have filmed two videos, which to be honest, not really happy with. So we may be refilming. We'll see once I get to upload it. But it is currently quarter, 10 to one. I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. I don't know what's going on with me today. It's probably because of the breakfast wasn't that filling, but it is now time to enjoy one of these hot cross buns. I'm excited because, like I said, I don't usually like this type of food, but I'm willing to give it a go. See, they smell like like Christmas cake to me, and I hate Christmas cake. So it says to cut it in half. I'm guessing it means like this way. Oh yeah. See, I'm very unsure about this. So that's what it looks like. I've cut it in half. And it says to toast them. And apparently they are much better toasted from what I've heard. So let's hope so. Because like I said, I'm not really a fan of this type of food. It's not really my vibe. So we shall see. I'm going to go with one. Just so I don't waste I really hope I love it. Again, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna have a whipped butter because I wanna get the actual taste of it. Um, but I really hope these are nice because, yeah, we'll see. I'm raging that there is no like savory snacks because I'm such a savory person. Like not over sweet, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm a savory person. So to have a lot of sweet and no savory today is gonna to be very strange. These are burning. Okay, they were smoking. They're definitely uh, toasted anyways. They smell good. So this is what they look like. You've probably all seen hot cross buns, but I literally have never. So I'm just gonna slap some butter on here. I wish I had like crisps or something to try. But like there wasn't really many Easter themed things. Like I said, like I literally picked up all the Easter themed stuff that I possibly could. My thing is, I feel like this is gonna be like a scone, but with a bit of cinnamon on it. That's kind of what I'm going with because it says spice and I don't know what spice is. Okay, let's get you set up and we'll try this. Just like the um, crumbus that I had earlier, I've put some butter on these. I'm a big textures person when it comes to food. So the fact that there's lumpy raisins and currants and whatever it's called in it really freaks me out. Like it's making my stomach turn. But I'm determined to give this a go. So here she is in all her glory. Cheers. No, can't do it. That is disgusting. Nope. No. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. 
no okay i'm sorry i can't eat that i literally cannot eat that guys i'm sorry that is not about me i don't like orange i'm not a fan of cinnamon that was disgusting that was absolutely disgusting so lunch is a fail unfortunately um a big fat fail but it just means dinner is going to be even better so i'm actually going to go have something else for lunch i'm just going to have like a normal sandwich or something because i literally cannot eat that like i'm sorry that has made my stomach turn i'm sorry guys lunch is a fail we're gonna have to come back for dinner or a snack or something later because i literally cannot finish that if you like hot cross buns i'm really really sorry but anyone who doesn't like them i totally get it that is disgusting but yeah i'm gonna go and i will see you for dinner a snack something like that but i just i can't go beach we're back we're back we're back we're back so for a snack i was like oh, i'd love them kick out bunnies but i don't want to be having a mini eggs bar and a mini eggs egg with mini eggs later so we're gonna break it up a bit for snacks so i'm gonna be having the mini eggs bar i've had this before it is unbelievable again like i said i didn't think i got it i thought i picked up something else but i obviously clearly didn't but if you don't know what it looks like literally just looks like it just looks like the normal cabaret except if you can see it has what they claim to be mini eggs in it but it's actually just smarties mm. 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 i'm such a chocolate person uh, such a chocolate person and when it comes to mini eggs i'm definitely a chocolate person let me know what easter egg you're getting freezer what are you at for or you can just let whoever pick pick because in my family we all pick our eggs and i get a mini eggs one joseph for me is getting a crunchy crunchy inclusions one but yeah i'm gonna go enjoy this probably end up eating the whole thing let's be honest here she's pregnant she's huge she's a mammoth of course and yeah i will see you at dinner and then we'll have more snacks later bye okay guys so it is a little bit later now it is probably about like mm, half eight nine o'clock now i ended up having to sleep for the entire afternoon and evening because i've just been having like really bad cramps so dinner is out of the question for tonight however snacks never end. so like i said earlier we've got two snacks to enjoy tonight we've got the Kit Kat easter break bunnies i suppose and then we also have our little mini eggs egg i'm gonna eat one of these now let me know if you want me to do these for like halloween and christmas because i could definitely do that as well i'm sure there'll be a lot better foods at halloween and christmas than there was at easter easter obviously just is a lot of chocolate and stuff like that but look how cute mm. Mm, mm, mm. i love maltesers bunnies they are so good and then we have our little egg and as you can hear we have mini eggs inside how do you get into this oh there we go i'm just gonna crack her open here i'm not sure you're gonna be able to see but there's mini eggs in the egg that makes me so happy love it mini eggs are my favorite thing like the day that they start running out like a couple of weeks after christmas after christmas a couple of weeks after easter i'm devastated i love mini eggs like i don't think people actually understand the obsession i'm sorry but easter egg chocolate generally beats all chocolate like i don't know whether it's the shape i don't know whether it's the thickness of it but easter egg chocolate genuinely to me is better than like a normal chocolate bar i'm kind of raging i should have gotten like an easter egg that also had like jellies in it or something round tree are doing easter eggs now although i'm not good I'm too sure on how good that chocolate would be it is 10 out of 10 for all of my evening snacks so i'm gonna go enjoy this so i'm actually gonna end today's video here i really hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it was quite short and maybe not as much variety in terms of like the actual meals but like i said if you'd like me to do a halloween and a christmas one i could definitely do that for you guys because i really enjoy this it means i get to pick up all of the you know themed foods without feeling slightly guilty for it especially because they're so overpriced as well like i don't know how much 
everything is on a normal day well i feel like when something is themed it's just so much more expensive and i don't understand it but i'm happy to pay it if it means you get content so yeah but guys thank you so much i should probably stop chewing while i'm talking to you hold on so guys thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and let me know if you've tried any of these foods down below in the comments but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in my next one bye